A team of snipers is moving into position on the front line in eastern Ukraine. This video was released by the Ukrainian military, which said it was further proof of direct Russian military involvement in the conflict in the Donbass. An official statement said these men were members of Russia's Federal Security Service, who filmed themselves in February 2020. The Ukrainian military did not say how it obtained the video, merely stating that it had carried out a special operation. Russia has always denied its forces are in eastern Ukraine, despite extensive evidence of their presence. Experts we spoke to said this video was further proof. They're wearing a lot of FSP stuff, so it's body armor, the service pistol that they're issued, the sniper rifle, the, uh, they're issued the camouflage, uh, the gear for taking weather down, it's all FSP. Russia has always claimed that separatist fighters in eastern Ukraine are simply volunteers. But these men have the latest sophisticated equipment. One item is a radio electronic warfare kit, which is rarely seen in the Donbass. The instrument is uh, radio pregnant, so the can influence the organs of the drone, so it can signal or even sit. It's clear, they protect Видя такие активные передвижения, группы, там 5-6 человек, спокойно могли бы кто-то увидеть, на, нанести удар, там несколько залпов миномета, и вся эта дорогостоящая группа бы накрылась сказать, за минуту. Another key piece of evidence is this weapon. The most important proof item is the AK-105, because you can't buy this this type of assault rifles on the civilian market. It's an updated version of the venerable Kalashnikov, and it's in this version, it, it was never introduced in Ukraine, neither in, in the army nor, nor in any other authority like border guards or police or special police, etc. Come Back Alive, a Kiev-based NGO that raises money to buy equipment for Ukrainian troops, also evaluated the video for us. This is said to be the most expensive gear the snipers have, French-made observation equipment. Функцій дуже багато. Він має і тепловізор будований, і камеру, і фотоапарат, і далекомір лазерний. Тобто це прилад, який може вести спостереження за допомогою лептопа віддалено. Дуже дуже цікава річ. The team also appears to use this British-made sniper rifle. This photo, taken several years ago, shows Russian army snipers using both the Accuracy International AX338 and the Safran Vectronics equipment. Якісний тепловізор, там два тепловізори було. Якісний тепловізор коштує в середньому до 15 тисяч доларів. Гвинтівка десь в районі від 15 до 20 тисяч доларів. Прилад для спостереження, ну, можна оцінити це десь близько десь 30 тисяч. Дуже важко підрозділам зібрати таке обладнання на одну невелику групу. Це дуже складно, це дуже дорого. Це вказує на те, що вони забезпечуються державою. Інших варіантів, як військові Російської Федерації, практично немає. The Ukrainian military said the video was shot over two days, February the 26th to 27th. On February 27th, Volodymyr Fedchenko, a junior sergeant in the Ukrainian army, was killed by sniper fire on the same section of the front.